the Quake United Nations Office first came to this issue of children who have a parent sentenced to death or executed because we've been working for many years on children of prisoners more generally. And it was during a day-long discussion at the UN's Committee on the Rights of the Child two years ago that we first heard about this issue from Amnesty International. And you could hear when they talked about what happens with a child as a parent who's been sentenced to death or, or been executed. In the room, you could almost hear this gasp as everyone thought, my goodness, why have we not thought of this? And so coming out of that, and there was a clear call from the results of the day to do more research on this issue, then we looked at what was available, what was known about this issue. And in fact, in February 2012, one of my colleagues, Helen Carney, produced a publication about children parents sentenced to death. One of the things that was clear from that was that this is an area where there's a lot that we don't know. There's a lot of research, a lot of information that we were still not managing to find out, not managed to uncover. And large parts of the world where our knowledge was far weaker than in others. And so what we did was we spoke to governments, we sent a questionnaire around to all the government delegations to the UN in Geneva. We found more books, more articles, more accounts firsthand. And we spoke to people who were working with the children to find out from them in much more detail what's happening, what works well, what's bad, and what could be improved. So now what we're doing is we're drawing together all this newer research into another publication which we hope to have ready in time for the World Congress Against Death Penalty in Madrid, June 2013, and which we will also present to various parts of the UN, to the UN's Crime Commission in Vienna, we hope, to the UN's Human Rights Council in Geneva. And it's an area where we think there'll be a lot of interest and very helpful to help people understand the wider implications of death penalty and all the ways in which it can affect people and affect children's rights. Of course, we're aware that even with what we know now, that's still not enough. And if there are any other coalition members or others looking at this who have information about this issue, we'd be delighted to hear from them and to find out what they can share with us.